Hey Fox, welcome back to Forensics with VM. So many of the queries coming up related to admissions and FSU 2023 that uh, eligibility criteria nahi pata hai, syllabus of entrance exam nahi pata hai. So let me tell you people, today itself the admission policy and eligibility criteria has been uploaded on www.nfsu.ac.in that is the official website of NFSU. Let us just take a walk through to understand what is there in the admission policy and in the eligibility criteria because there are a lot of changes which has been made this year you are going to be surprised this time because uh, there are some few new things which have not been uh, up incorporated earlier but this time it has been incorporated so you are just you should watch this entire video till the last minute so that you will be able to grab the few important things which have been uh, updated this year so let's just take a walk through okay so www.nfsu ac dot in so once you will land on the page of www.nfsu.ac.in you will be able to see the advertisement over here right so what you have to do is just have to scroll down and you can see the more details once you will click on that more details you will be landing on the page of this ad admission page of nfsu now you are going to see two things have been uploaded over here the admission policy this one and the eligibility criteria let me show you the admission policy we will open it when we'll understand what is there in the admission policy you can see firstly the all the campus has been mentioned the campus where the other uh, the all the courses are running have been mentioned the goa Ga gandhi nagar delhi bhopal dharwad tripura all the campuses and the academies have been mentioned along with their proper address and contact details and then there is an important information and dates which you can see the very first date that means the commencement of online registration and submission of application form is 23rd march so that on 23rd march the applications uh, online registrations were started last date of registration is 29th may till midnight for uh, the fee payment inr fee, 1500 is the fee for all the categories mode of payment has been given the last day to upload the last qualifying examination that is 12th or graduation results on application form is 1st july 2023 then we have a uh, admit card will be downloaded has been you know the date has to be announced later mode of the examination is very important for you people this time computer based test will be there earlier also last year also that was the computer based test but this time the exam will be conducted by nta that means national testing agency then mode of examination is cbt pattern of examination mcq duration of examination is 1.5 hours that is 90 minutes date of examination is first and second july then timing of examination 9 am to 12 pm examination center will be given in your admit cards which will which the dates of downloading the admit card will be announced later on and then at, uh, the results and all this will be decided later on you can see the dates over here then websites have been given this www.nfsu then nta because on the nta you are going to see all the information related to the exam because nta is conducting your exam this time then there are the list of exam center whatever is the nearby center to you you can select any of the center which is nearby to you there will be the you know drop down wherein you will be given the option to select the examination center so you can uh, you know you can select the examination center as per your convenience so these are the list of exam centers and then there are so many things how the reservation is being given for general obc and everything for kashmiri migrants and kashmiri pandit kashmiri hindu families non migrants all these things details has been given and if you are applying for some category so in which category you will be following priority one priority two all these things have been given over here you can go through this uh, you know uh, this uh, pdf of admission policy you are going to see a lot of important things then the very important thing which i would like to tell you is here that this time nfsu the nfet exam national forensic admission test which is being conducted by nta and nfsu you are going to see that there will be a negative marking this time for the very first time the correct answer will be plus one marks and if you will be attempting the wrong answer you are going to lose 0.25 marks for the one correct incorrect answer so you have to be very sure when you will be selecting the answers this time this scheme has been added for the marks deduction negative marking 
then you can see there are a lot of things in instruction for filling the online application form everything has been mentioned over here in clear manner you should you know once uh, you are filling the form i i suggest and i strongly you know recommend that you should go through this pdf when you will be applying for it okay now let me just go back to the uh, the eligibility criteria so this now you can see for uh, many of the people were asking me what is the syllabus what will be the format of question paper so let me tell you these are the tuition fee eligibility criteria mode of admission syllabus and format of the question paper for all the programs running by in different campuses of nfsu so for example let me just take one or two uh, courses and you can select your school your um, you know your course and you can see the eligibility criteria the question paper patterns the syllabus everything for example let me just take mtech cyber security for mtech cyber security the eligibility criteria is this thing that you should be be or b tech in computer engineering technology or computer science or so many things which have been mentioned over here what will be the mode of examination admission is done based on the entrance exam conducted by nfsu that is nfet or gate score will be seen in this thing and 50% uh, of the seal will be filled through the gate score and other 50% will be based on the sec score secured in NFAT. Syllabus is divided into two parts. 60% would include networking, operating system, data structure, assembly language, database management system. Then all these things, the syllabus have been mentioned. One more thing which I would like to uh, tell you people over here, the very if I is the thing is same. If you have qualified BSc Forensic Science in Cyber Forensic or Digital Forensic or Computer Forensics, then you will be eligible to take admission in MSc Digital Forensic and Information Security. So all this important information you can see in this, uh, you know, admission uh, eligibility criteria and the syllabus of all the programs which is who is conducting their entrance examination. You can check the syllabus over here. I hope it will be clear to you. Okay, so now you have seen what the new things are like, for example, the negative marking is there and for the cyber courses, BSc Forensic Science students who have completed their Forensic Science in some specialization like cyber, uh, cyber forensic or digital forensic. So if you have done that, you will also be eligible. So these are few things which are very important to tell because all the time I receive the question from the same domain. So these two things you have to keep in mind when you will be applying for the course. Negative marking is very important. So don't do this कि आपने कुछ भी नहीं आता तो ठीक है तुक्का मार दिया वो मत करिएगा बिकॉज मार्क्स कट जाएंगे इवेंचुअली ऐसा ना हो कि इतने मार्क्स डिडक्ट हो जाए कि पॉजिटिव में कुछ रहे ही ना सो मेक श्योर ऑफ दैट एंड कीप प्रैक्टिसिंग एंड इफ यू फेस एनी सच क्वेरी फॉर द मोर क्वेरी यू शुड पुट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन एंड इट डजेंट यू नो uh if i am not reverting back to you on the through the comment that doesn't mean i am not reading your comments i read all the comments and uh, i work upon it and i only revert back once your query gets resolved so you have to be patient with that and uh, you whatever your query you're facing you just can put in the comment section till the time you should take care thank you so much bye bye